Okay, so for our next presentation, this is going to be a half an hour presentation on uh, electrocoagulation. It's a water purification method. Um, and so, who's here that this is your first time seeing Paul Babcock? First time? So Paul's been coming to all of our conferences. He's local. He's one of my buddies here that uh, we've probably known each other 15 years or something like that, ever since I had a, a vitamin store over on the north side of Spokane. And uh, he has, you know, decades of experience from, you know, industrial, elect uh, you know, electrical engineering, project management, you name it. Uh, he's done it. Uh, he's the one who's behind the uh, ethanol steels we talked about earlier. His brother makes those up north of Spokane. Uh, Paul has presented at every single conference since yeah. uh, 2012, since we started this, over the last eight years. And he's pretty much uh, disclosed all the stuff about his motor switching circuits and and uh, recovery methods, and he has very advanced uh, switching methods for like magnetic energy recovery, and that was kind of one of the favorite topics of a lot of the presenters at the conference. And it's like he's been able to run, you know, these big transformers lighting thousand watts of lights, and the transformer is so cold you can't even keep a coffee, uh, cup of coffee warm on it. Cold to the touch. Uh, he knows how to do all these kind of things that are, you know, supposed to be impossible. Um, taking that uh, experience here into the future, electro electrocoagulation has been around for many, many years. The way Paul is doing it is uh, kind of taking it to the next level. So this is going to be kind of a basic orientation on this technology, what it can do for you. And as I mentioned yesterday with Grant's uh, company with these uh, floating homes is that they can potentially be like a showcase for technologies like this. So anyway, help me welcome Paul Babcock. So you can take the ugliest, dirtiest, nasty, contaminated water, you can pump it through this system, and in about 10 minutes, you've removed all this stuff, and that water is totally potable and drinkable, and as pure and clean as you could ever want, like right out of a spring. So BODs, that's biologicals. So what happens in this process is, you create these huge sacrificial ions. Current is making hydrogen and oxygen. So now you get this electrified water, this boiling soup of electrical charges. And those electrical charges chemically react with all of this stuff and lock it up chemically and neutralize it. And at that point, it becomes inert and then it what's called coagulates it looks like an algae bloom in the water, and all the bad stuff gets attacked and attached to the ions, and then it settles right out. So arsenic, 96 to 97 percent, aluminum, 99 percent. Everything is in the high 90s from aluminum, arsenic, barium, calcium, cadmium, chromium, cobalt, copper, iron, lead, mercury. You know, mercury, 66 percent, two cleanings, and you got it almost all. But everything, very few things that aren't above in the high 90s at the removal rate from one pass. Silt in the water, sediments, all of it drops right out. And most of all, this guy right here, bacteria, viruses, and cysts, 99.9%. .9%. So it's very powerful technology. So this guy here is named Scott Powell. Powell is no longer in business. But this is the first EC machine I ever used was exactly like this one. I don't know why we don't have any audio here. But this is an EC demonstration for some reason. There we go. The power from the electrical grid converted from AC to DC. Then you take a pump. When you get done with this demo, I'll explain this. As the water passes up to this chamber, it goes between metal plates. And as the electricity goes between those metal plates, it causes a reaction to occur, which causes metal ions to convert to metal oxides, causes fat soils and grease to become separable from water. This can be demonstrated by using acrylic paint in water. And we've got an 11 micron filter, and you'll see that as that water passes through the filter, the paint, will go through the filter as well. So the particle is smaller than 11 micron. 
We'll use this uh, uh, paint. We'll pump it up through the electrocoagulation chamber. Now these metal blades could actually be a wide variety of material. The deal about EC is you just look at the water as a resistor and all water has, not all water has the same conductivity. So you can calculate all the power and what parts you need. And the other thing is, so, so how I do it is I basically take two square inch plates and I drop so I just have a square inch on each surface into the water. Then I measure an inch this way. And then I measure it with an ohm meter. And I go, oh, my one inch of water and my one inch cube is this much resistance. And then I can calculate from that point on exactly how I want to set my plates up to get the current levels I need through the water. And, and I can just parallel and series plates. And so you can just, it's basically you're doing an exercise in Ohm's law when you set your plates up. So here's a beautiful piece. I love this one. <clears throat> this is in a hospital. You know, here's a homebrew setup. You know, classic hippie technology kind of approach. And they're decontaminating medical waste before disposal with it. Well, if you were in Louisiana on your houseboat floating out in the swamp hunting alligators, this could keep you in perfectly clean water, this same, same system right here, right out of a bucket out of the swamp water, and you would be drinking perfectly clean, pristine water with just a simple setup like this.